there is a mystery about Adam and sin, the original sin, the first sin, that I, I, I get questions about, and I want you to think about it a little bit. Um, this is one of those things that I think can be resolved by a, a more clear understanding of the terms that we use, because we say that Adam was created good, and all things in creation were good. Um, that is, morally good. But if, more, if Adam were morally good, then how is it that he could choose sin? Um, th there is a difference between the way we describe the goodness of the creation God has made, including man, and the goodness of God. Goodness is a quality of God's character. So he is perfectly good and he is immutably good. He is the ground of goodness. Out of his goodness, he made everything the way he wanted and he, that reflected his goodness and everything being the way he wanted, just the way he designed it to be, desired it to be, meant that everything was good. Adam and Eve were human beings created with the capability of making actions that were consistent with God's purposes or inconsistent with God's purposes. When they were created, they were not corrupted. Because they were not corrupted, they were called good. There's nothing wrong with them. This doesn't mean, however, that they were incorruptible. God's goodness is incorruptible. Man's goodness was not. It was, it was possible for man to sin. And in fact, that's what happened. So Adam was good in the sense that he wasn't corrupted. He also had a good feature, and that is the ability to make moral choices. The problem is, is he used the ability to make the wrong, <laughs> I was just, the moral choices that were immoral choices, I guess is what I want to say. Uh, so he used the ability not to choose the good, but to choose the bad. When we say that Adam was created good, we don't mean that he was immutably good. We just mean that he was uncorrupted. And he had the ability to choose one or the other. Human beings now don't have that ability. They are corrupted, and they will consistently choose evil. They will consistently choose to rebel against God because their nature is bent against God. So where it was possible for Adam not to sin, now it is not possible for us not to sin. That's the problem that Jesus came to rescue us from. So be careful when you talk about Adam being good we, he was good, that is, morally uncorrupted, but he was capable of being corrupted. That's what moral freedom entails, and in fact, that's what actually happened.